Hi, this is Melissa Ferrick, and you're listening to a track from my new album, Goodbye Youth. Gotta put my feet in To see if the water's too cold I gotta taste the broth to know if it needs salt and I check my watch to see if I'm running on time and I talk into the mirror sometimes say to myself you're gonna be fine but I am a hypocrite about love, but I can't waltz, and I say I'm a romantic, just so it's never my fault. Listening to show number 43 of The Lesbian Mafia, and I am your host, Shazam. Hi there, I'm your host, Sandy. I have a very exciting show for you today. That was just Melissa Ferrick that you were listening to. And I have her as a guest on, on this show today. So I'm so excited to bring you part one of a very interesting expose on Melissa Farrick. And she was so wonderfully generous with her time that I have uh, two parts of this interview. So I'll be playing part one for this show and part two for the next show, which I will be posting next week. So 
Before we get started, I just want to read a part of a speech that the Prime Minister of Spain, Jose Luis Rodriguez, made, I think it was in 2005, after gay marriage and adoption of children by gay couples was made legal in Spain. So I'll just read part of that to you now. And I'm reading off the web, so it's going to be a little bit... We are not legislating honorable members for people far away and not known by us. We are enlarging the opportunity for happiness to our neighbors, our co-workers, our friends, and our families. At the same time, we are making a more decent society, because a decent society is one that does not humiliate its members. In the poem, The Family, our gay poet Luis Cernuda was sorry because, quote, how does a man live in denial, in vain, by giving rules that prohibit and condemn? Today, the Spanish society answers to a group of people who during many years have been humiliated, whose rights have been ignored, whose dignity has been offended, their identity denied, and their liberty oppressed. Today, the Spanish society grants them the respect they deserve, recognize their rights, restores their dignity, affirms their identity, and restores their liberty. Now, you can find this article online. You can just Google Jose Luis Rodriguez Zapatero speech on gay marriage, and you could read the rest of that on there. But uh, it's an amazing speech. This guy put his entire career behind uh, gay marriage and the adoption of uh, children by gay people. And uh, I know that they can marry in England, but I think there are some stipulations, and I'm not sure what it is, but uh, I should have looked it up before the start of this show, but I think Spain is the only country who fully embrace gay rights, is, is how we should say that, I guess. Um, but the reason why I want to just talk about this briefly before we get started on with Melissa is because if you think that there's nothing that you can do about what just happened, with Prop 8 and Florida and Arizona and Arkansas, if you think that there's nothing you can do, you're dead wrong. And if you're in California and you're gay and you have two legs, if you haven't at least attended one protest, <laughs> at this rate, if we continue the way it's going now, back and forth, you get the rights, you don't, you get civil unions, maybe you get marriage, this place gets marriage, this state gets it, that state doesn't, this state you get it and then you take it away and then we've got to fight and you to raise more money, this one now and the Mormons and the other, back and forth, back and forth. Do you know how long it will be before we get marriage? At the rate that it's going now, it won't happen for 500 to 1,000 years if this continues. We cannot keep playing games back and forth, back and forth with all this bullshit. It's bullshit. Do you understand that this, this is bureaucratic bullshit? Do you understand this is red tape nonsense? We have to stand up and speak in a way that is clear to them. We can't ape other people's civil rights movements anymore because... Nobody wants us. Nobody wants gay people. They don't like us. Nobody likes us. We are the only ones that can do this for ourselves. And if you're not out there making a lot of noise, I don't know, maybe you got to check your head. But there's a lot that you can do. If you can't protest or maybe you're scared of getting shot or something, I don't know. But there's a lot that you can do. And number one on my list is you can write to officials. You can write letters to the White House, write to Obama. Let them know you are a tax paying citizen. You are gay. You pay your taxes. Do you pay your taxes? Do you look at your check? Do you look at FICA and all this and the other stuff? Do you look at all the taxes that, that come out of your check every week, how they take your money? They like your money and they like your vote, right? Right. 